guys, today I'm going to be doing my video on hair braiding. Um, I, it is something that I really utilize in the hospital. A lot of women come in with their hair down and after laying in bed for a long time it gets kind of knotted in the back or matted. So I like to utilize this skill just to kind of help them feel good, feel clean, feel fresh. Um, I can obviously be used anywhere for any variety of reasons. You can even use it on rope if you're not going to use it on hair, but I definitely think it's something that's important for all people to know how to do just to kind of give that extra level of care to a woman who doesn't have access to their normal maybe like beauty routine. What we're going to do is gather your supplies, a hairbrush or comb, and some hair ties. Next, you will brush the hair. Keep in mind that some hair types, like curlier hair, are not good to be brushed and you will just braid accordingly. The next thing you will do is separate the hair that you want to be braided into three pieces. Once I separate into three pieces, I like to run my hands through them just to make sure that there are no tangles. You will then start by pulling the furthest to the right strand of hair over the center piece. That makes it your new center piece. You will then repeat this step on the left, taking the leftmost strand and pulling it over the center. You will continue in this pattern right over left, right over left, right over left, until you reach the end. Throughout this process, it's important to use your fingers to remove any tangles you may be creating and to also try to keep that braid tight so it does not fall out. When you've reached the end of the braid, you will secure it with a hair tie and ask the patient if everything looks good.